But the challenge is that the world has a very different view of what courage is. You know, and, and if you, and it worked out perfectly. I was already doing this message, but if you look at any of the stuff that's going on with uh, Pastor Robertson in Australia, you see both sides of the narrative, right? So you see this Muslim guy who's apparently like, he's not an imam, because they scheduled the thing with the imam, but he's like a representative of all the imams or whatever. They have a representative. So whatever he's considered, and he's the one fighting back and forth, and it's all interviewed. And then they interview him separately, and he's kind of playing this victim, like, you know, we're just we're just one practice freely our religion and do this. And what they're portraying him as is this brave soul who, who dealt with this onslaught of hate speech. And that's how the world treats you, right? They they show they always show the victimization, how you overcome the victimization, right? If it's in the sodomy world, it's you know, poor. Poor little queers, you know, they're running around and mama didn't love them and daddy didn't love them and you don't know what it is to be me, you know, and the things that I have to deal with because everybody leads a normal life. And but how brave it is for them to come out and just step into the, their own skin and be who they are. Or just pick whatever, right? You know, poor woman who, you know, just didn't have any opportunities and, you know, she just didn't, she, she's been oppressed all her life, but now she gets to choose her career and her home and her money and also her body because it's her body poor thing that she never got a choice in the matter but now with the rebel it's always this like overcoming this fear and then controlling and they call that courage i mean i, I think it was a couple years ago when bruce jenner because that's what i call him because that's his name by the way yep. man. but when you i think i didn't watch it or i didn't see it i heard that he he won some award for espn and then it was like the Courage Award or the Bravery Award. I don't know. Look it up because I know. But it had to do with being courageous and being brave. But the Bible tells us different, right? I mean, these people are afraid or the world is usually afraid of something and they're trying to control the fear and then make it something that is not. The Bible says no fear.